What is up guys and welcome back to the Moto Gumption YouTube channel with me, Ish Barrientos. If you look here on the table, I went and got the hardware like I said I was going to do so we can go ahead and start mounting the reservoir, the bracket and some other stuff onto the raffle build. But before I get back to that, I need to do something to the white bike. Alright guys, let's get into it. so in my last video I dropped of the raffle build that is I did mention that now that the exhaust system is off on my personal bike it is now time to turbocharge it so I'm gonna go ahead and take this leap and start disassembling the rest of the bike because I have a buyer ready for that supercharger kit he's been waiting patiently and I wanted to get this on video so you can see the before and after effect on how much stuff is actually on the bike now I do have the stuff I need here to go ahead and continue the progress on the raffle build we do have the hardware um, old and injectors that I pulled out of the old fuel rail, but we have here the new injectors. I'll give you a quick little look at those. There's some nice pieces. Let me just take one out real quick. All right, so here they are. They are some nice ones, all right. Um, some little differences, of course. You have a little bit of a height difference from the stock ones, but um, the spray pattern is a little bit different as well. So, but they are higher flowing, and this is what we need on the raffle build. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start tearing this bike apart. It just makes me really sad because I really like the setup on this bike and, you know, to venture out and do something else, there might be some, you know, kinks to work out, but I guess, you know what, it's part of the process. So we're going to get into it. It's been my baby. A lot of work, a lot of progress has went into this bike. Um, there's not one out there like it, I guarantee. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, make it a little bit better and hopefully for next year, we're gonna surprise some people at the track, surprise some people on the street, and uh, who knows, surprise maybe the internet with some big numbers on the dyno. <sighs> I guess let the time lapse begin. I don't know where to start on this. I'm gonna shed some tears too. Yes, sir. This guy right here works amazing holding the tank up so you can disconnect all the wiring and disconnect the... Uh to go ahead and start a box for all the other stuff going in it. Going to the new owner. Now remember, this big ugly mug was not needed for the flow, but I went an extra size bigger on the intake. That way I didn't have to clean it as usual, or as often I should say. So that is gonna be there. I do need to take that sensor off, but. Now I will put this in a bag here in a little bit. We can go ahead and take off the belt. Right, the belt's actually in really great shape still. If you look here, 
no issues with the uh, cogs at all, teeth. Add this to the parts box. to the collection of parts. Anyways, there's the bolt. And uh, of course, I had my Nord lock washer. The other half is down there, but that helps keep everything super, super tight and not come loose. So there is that. All right, into the parts box it goes. Of course, this is not how I'm shipping it, and I will be cleaning these parts. You know, got to do my due diligence. <laughs> The supercharger is now off guys and uh, the bike is now naturally aspirated again <laughs> just like that oh the final piece to the puzzle is gonna gently 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 don't worry that was something else kicked it anyways gently put this in there Well guys, the deed is done. It is back to naturally aspirated, torn to pieces, and I'm heartbroken. Well, kinda, sorta, a little bit of happy too, because now I can actually turbo the thing. Now, that being said guys, I wanna make this build, hopefully, I wanna make this build a two-part series as far as performance. So, the first part is I just slow, I just slow, I just slap the turbo stuff on there, um, and make it run basically take it to the dyno and run it at let's say 10 psi get a reading You know make sure it's correct of course and then we bring it back We break down the engine we put rods pistons port the head and degree the cams and run it again at the dyno at 10 psi to see the difference Of course, I will get a more in-depth tune and more boost of course because I want to make this bike have 350 350 is the goal. Let's see if we can do it you know, highest horsepower FZ1 ever. And let's see if we can get those times to just shred the strip. Now, that being said, guys, we are done talking about my white FZ1. Back to the raffle bike. We will be on this again on the next episode. I do have all the parts here as far as the new hardware so we can mount stuff and the new 5.0 injectors. So we are going to go ahead and throw some more stuff at this bike. Get the... Uh, harness in order as far as the map sensor and all the vacuum lines oh man that's a lot of talking right there anyways guys i hope you have a good one and i'll see you on the next one later <laughs>